Hello, my name is Jeffrey, and um, have you ever rode down the street on your skateboard with the wind blowing in your hair and the wheels on your feet? And just like wonder how the board was made? Well, I'm going to show you today how to make it in three simple steps. First, you have to buy all the parts that are on here, and then you have to put it all together, and then after, you have to, before riding it, you have to make it, put it all together, and then, and then after that, you put it you have to adjust all the parts to the skateboard and um, this is fairly simple and you can get all the parts from your local skate shop I recommend you go into the local skate shop because the department stores their their parts aren't really good and they'll break on you and um, so first I'm gonna show you how, what parts to buy so this is called a deck and it's the most important part of the board because you're gonna be riding on this and the deck has grip tape on the top which is just sandpaper and you could choose any texture you want. It, it just depends on your preference. And next, after you get the deck, you should get a pair of trucks. And um, according to the trucks, you should buy the right size truck. As you can see, it's the right size. If it's not the right size, your board will not feel as good. And then after, after you buy the trucks, you have, to, you have to buy the wheels, which is just these right here. And there's really like three types of wheels. There's the skate park wheels, which I have right now, and you ride the skate park with it. And then there's the street wheels that you have, and um, you you have the the street wheels with it because those street wheels are smaller, and they're they're a little faster. And um, and there's also the cruising ones, which is which is just like big longboard wheels, which you can go up curves and stuff easily. And then after you buy the wheels, you should get a pair of you should get a set of bearings. And bearings usually vary in two types. They have the ceramic ones and the steel ones. But I recommend you buying the steel ones because in, as a beginner, you don't, you don't want to spend too much money on the ceramic ones because the ceramic ones are like 100. And I have the ceramic ones right here because I've been skating for a long time. And these last for a really long time. For like, I have, I have had these for a year and I haven't lubricated them or anything yet. And they've been working perfectly. And after you buy the bearings, you buy hardware or mounting boats that, that will put your truck and your board together. And these are it right here. And it has one screw and then another nut at the end of it. And also your trucks, they should come with um, two nuts and four spacers. And I will show you what those do afterwards. And the most important part to get out of the local skate shop is the skate tool. And this has three sockets. A bigger one, a, a smaller size one, and the smallest size. And, and inside it has a Phillips screwdriver. I'll show you how to use this just in a minute. So after you get all these parts and tools, you would have to put the board together. And I'm going to show you how right now. So first, you start with the wheels. And you grab one wheel and you grab a bearing, which is, the, which is the, these right here. And um, make sure that they're lubricated before you put it on because you don't want to take it off again and then do uh, the whole process again. And um, so you have the bearings right here. Make sure the covers are facing outside and, you're, and there's two slots in the wheel. And you can just put your, put your bearing, align it right, and then just pop it in. That's how it goes. I'm going to show you one more time. So have the plastic piece on the outside, the cover, so that it takes the dirt out and stuff and you just pop it in, just like that. I'm gonna do the rest right now. Pop it in. And after you put the bearings on the wheels, you, put, you have to put in the wheels to the trucks. So the first step to do that is, you have to put in a spacer into the truck like this, and then after you put the wheel onto the truck, and then you put another spacer on top, so it creates space between the bearing and the and the and the nut that you're going to put on, and it also creates space on this side with the truck and the bearings right here. And after that, you put in the nut on top, so you can securely put it in. Just screw it in with your hands until you until it's tight, and then you tighten it with your skate tool. You use the second biggest part of the skate tool for the socket. Just tighten it until it's tight. 
Make sure you don't go too tight. Alright, I'm going to show you again. So you just put the first spacer right here, and then you put the wheel, and you put another spacer, and you put the nut over it, just like this. And you just screw it in with the skate tool, just tighten it. Now you have your wheels and your trucks all together. The next step is to put the trucks with the board all together. And to do that, you would have to use the mounting bolts that you have purchased from the local skate shop. And, to, uh, and you have to first align the truck with the deck. And there should be four holes on the deck, as you can see right here. One, two, three, four. And um, so you can align it right here. Make sure the, the flat side of the truck is facing the tail or the head of the board. And you just align it. You can see through it like this, as you guys can see. And you can just pop the screw in just like this. Just like this. Okay. And then you do it for the other side also. You should put two in the front first so that the truck doesn't loosen up. You just screw it in. You take the nut and screw it in right here on the truck so you can secure it. Do that for the other one. So I'll show you on this side again. So take the nut that you have, use a screw, put it through the board and the truck, and there should be holes. And you just screw it in like this. Do that for the last one. Alright, the next step is to tighten these bolts, and you're going to use your nifty skate tool that you have right now. So you take out the Phillips from the top of the skate tool, and you just, first, this is a tricky part, so first, you put the screw right here, so you, so you can hold it tight as you're tightening on the other side. So you use the smallest part of the socket, which is on the bottom, and you just put it in, and just tighten. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. That's how you do it. You want to make sure this part is tight because you don't want it to loosen up as you're riding and then you fall off. You just put it in right here, hold it in place as you're tightening on the other side. Now after, you have, now you have put your board together, but you can't ride yet, because you would have to adjust the board. You would have to adjust the truck and the wheels on the board. So I'm going to show you how to adjust the trucks first. And this is basically just tightening the trucks and loosening the trucks. As a beginner, I think that you should adjust the trucks tightly because when you're riding, you're pedaling. And then uh, if it's tight, then you're going straight. If you're loose, right on the, if the trucks are loose and you're riding, and you, will be, you will start turning and then that won't be good because you might fall off the board. And you, you, might look, you might just fall off. And uh, next, so, so lefty loosey, loosey righty tighty. And to loosen it, you just, and tighten it, you just put it in the middle of the truck right here. And you just twist to tighten, and left side to loosen. That's how it is. And, and you should, they should have the same tightness on both sides, because you don't want to ride in different tightnesses. But all the tight, tightness is 
it, they're different for each skater, so it's it's all up to your preference. That's all. And um, the next thing I'm going to show you to how to adjust is this part right here because you want to create some space between the wheels and the nut over here because you want the wheel to move and not get stuck. If it's too tight, as I'm going to show you right now, um, the wheels are not going to move. And you will be just pedaling and pedaling forever because they're not moving. And if they're loose enough, I will show you right now, they are going to move smoothly as you're riding down the road. And make sure that it's not too loose because if it's too loose, this nut would come out and your whole wheel would just fall off and you would just be riding on the truck, which is not good because they, the trucks do not roll and you would just fly off. All right, um, so those are all, those are the three steps that you have to take before you, have, you go riding on your skateboard and have fun in it. And um, the first part is to buy all the tools, buy all the parts, and buy, buy the, the skate tool, which is the most important. Make sure that it's the right one for your board, but mostly they're standard sizes. And um, the next thing, you just put it all together, and then after that, you can't ride yet because you haven't adjusted it, so you have to adjust the board to your settings, to your preference, and, and, um, you're sh and you should be on your way after you do all those three things. And have fun on your board and live your dreams.